aquí está. Aquí está una letter de David Redtruck to Barney My Love, quoting a letter from 1995, talking about Sagrado, New Mexico, 1973. Okay, here is the letter from David Redtruck to Barney My Love, quoting the Gospel of Nazareno Montoya, our Guru Devino, in the mountains of New Mexico called Sagrado. Okay, this one is called A Sandia Trip of August 1975, or a trip, an acid trip in Sagrado by Bernardino, as NASA called me. Quote, Red Truck, from the letter. But I digress. Getting back now to your section called A Sandia Trip of August 1975. On one page, you've got a guy who looks like Father Time, who is Leon, waking up out of a mountain ridge top to find out he's become a mountain thunderhead billowing quickly, much too quickly, up into the sky, and he's thinking to myself, all red eyes, she, I really need a shave. You call him the Universal Popeye. The soundtrack of this session, if you'll go back through some of those tapes I sent you of me and Leon, I think I must have sent you the recording I did of my own song, Walking Through a Wild Mountain Meadow. That's this trip, or any all wild mountain, manzano, mushroom, meadow, eternal afternoon mornings, where lizards are embedded in a rock long ago. Now I'm laughing out loud to myself, with a face I can't fit back into my face quite yet. And it's two o'clock in the morning. Only the crickets outside think I'm crazy. And I'm laughing because I'm reading a paper entitled, innocently enough, Our Class Trip. And there's this bloodshot cosmic eyeball on board to tell me, hey, this ain't quite all according to Hoyle. And then I see that the date is springtime, sometime in the 20th century, at Leon's house and in a room yet, and you can kind of tell the level you guys are at and the level of the stuff you took because there is a minimal drawing and even more, or is it less, minimal writing, sandwiched in between pages of incoherent but probably meaningful scrawl. And here I'm laughing so I can hardly write or write myself. R-A-H-T, much less at this point write to myself. Page two of your class trip has a naked guy getting his ass kicked by a star, which lets you know right away it must have been some pretty good stuff. Somewhere underneath is a kind of accordion fruit loop scribble that some prankster has embellished with a mustache and eyes made from the letter O. O-H-H-H. -H -H. This guy has what looked to be once be howdy doody hair after he stuck his finger in the toaster. Seen here a little ways in back, still smoking. In fact, this may account for the sudden loopy dissolution of a wavy line gone to heck of a what used to be hand. Out of all this chaos, and I pause for a sip and a smoke, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, well, folks, it's uh, more of the red truck letter and it's our class trip in Sagrado, New Mexico with Leon in Leon's house, Leon and Eunice in his, the one room, the bedroom, 
and Little Mike Miera, and Chinch, and Barney My Love, in Sagrado, New Mexico, 1973, actually 1975, and it was freezing four degrees, and the dogs were shivering outside, but we couldn't let them in because uh, Leon would call him. he'd say we cut him up for fire dog. Okay, now, here we go, back to the letter, our class trip, which David Redtruck so admired in 1995 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, when he wrote me this letter, so I'm quoting it now, in Florida in 2013, and the songs of Twinkle are in my mind from last night, such as Stonesy, people on the street, come on, and I hear a helicopter outside, so it's a spring day, and actually Twinkle's singing tonight too, so I should really go down there, but I must read this letter. Anyway, oh, I'm going to add pictures, so um, this section is kind of a boring section, and I'll have to try to get it better. So here comes the letter with the acid trip in Sagrado, 1975, quote by Red Truck. Like I was saying, out of all this chaos, at the end of it all comes Chinch, leering up out of the melted hairy shadows while the rest of the night has fled, holding that one eternal beer, more like a question to be answered than a question to be asked. And you're wondering, how did I get all this tiny dirt in the little webbed places between my fingers? There's Chinch, ever wise, ever vacant, ever one beer short of drunk, ever there, to welcome you to the warm end of a worn out night. It's morning for crying out loud, and Chinch is asking you, got a beer? Even though you've just spent all night enthralled in the rapture of meaningless scribble. Meanwhile, little Mike's brainstorm vision of a micro purity of untrammeled desert is like a balloon let go on a windy day as it drifts smaller and smaller out of sight, out of room, out of Leon's window. Turn the page. Chinch is still there. Bum a smoke. Meanwhile, Barney, you're looking down at your lap, actually the legs of your chair. I mean your legs sitting on your chair, but viewed as it were disembodied from about 11 floors up and you're thinking about some poor guy at the bottom of the East River and he's singing let it rain let it pour let it rain a whole lot more I got them East River blues oh my god there's more the photos tall Paul beneath the old hams Molly and Tony sign desperados in wired hippie hats no one longer remember standing around weird station wagons and sedan models of Fords and Chevrolet that nobody remembers with hair. Nobody remembers in front of old stone buildings and wooden sheds. Nobody remembers doing idle kind of nothings that nobody remembers. Smoking, coughing, talking, cussing, shifting weight from foot to foot, saying things of meaningful time gathering insignificance nobody ever thinks rememberable. Then there's a picture of you looking like John Mayall on the cover of Blues from Laurel Canyon, carting away the window frame from the old schoolhouse, looking for all the world like a veritable penitente in the blistering sun. Roma Dylan's Romance in Durango. Hot chili peppers in the blistering sun. Dust on my boots and my cape. Me and Magdalena on the run. I think this time we will escape. So that's the story of Red Truck's letter of the Sagrado acid trip at Leon's house in 1975. Arroyo Seco. 1973. Slim Whitman, don't you know? Okay, folks, that's all for now, and that's um, hopefully this is okay. Windows Media Video.
Thank you for the 21st century, of course. Bye-bye.